Arsenal Fan TV happy with the performance today? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, we made it difficult for ourselves, but ultimately we got the win and that's what matters. Mm. And another goal for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. This guy is starting to prove to be a star. £65 million at the moment, it's worth it. Yeah, I really want to see what happens next season when he's allowed to be in the Europa League. Um, uh, I think... Ro hold on, Europa if, League? We want yeah, to be in the Champions League, yeah. Europa League. Well, ideally... But Champions <laughs> League, speak positively, okay, yeah, man. Okay, Don't okay, talk okay. about no more Europa okay, League. Okay. We want to win this Europa League and get in the Champions Europe. League. I want to see him in no, Europe. no, not Europe. The Champions League. Fine. Say it. We'll say Champions. Be positive. Say I want Champions to see League in the Champions League right, right. next season. <laughs> um, I also think that I need to say sorry to um, what I said about Danny Welbeck last week. Um, he's done well today. Um, he was put under pressure because fans are getting at him, um, not wanting him to be here anymore. Even I was last week. But he does his stuff. He does his. He does what he needs mm. to do. He tries hard each week. Are there players in Arsenal's team that are like scapegoats? Players that are easy to pick on. Iwobi, Welbeck, you know, Granite Xhaka. I think so. Well, not, actually, I wouldn't, not, I'm not sure if Xhaka's a scapegoat, but there's certain players that seem easy targets. They get it. Even sometimes I've seen there's been games this season where they've been far from the worst player on the pitch. Yeah. not saying they've been great, but they're the ones that will get it. And Welbeck seems to be one of them. Iwobi seems to be one of them. They get it before everybody else. Why? I think it's maybe because they put the pressure on themselves. Like they don't perform one week, they don't perform another week. They're one of the worst performers in the team um, in weeks and weeks and weeks in a row. And therefore they put the pressure on themselves. And mm -hmm. it's not down to the fans, it's down to what the fans are seeing. And the fans don't just, some fans do, but fans don't just go, oh, I'm going to turn on this player this week and that's going to be that. There has to be something. And if the player's not performing, the fans are going to pick up on it. If the player's not performing for more than a week, the fans are also going to pick up on it again. The players Alexis then, yeah. wasn't performing for about six weeks. No one was having a go at him when he was there. Yeah, but you look at it and he, and he was the one that was um, like creating stuff, you could say. Yeah, he's running he around like, and he's doing said, a lot I, of I, the... I, I was, but he wasn't really... He's giving a ball was, away nearly every time he got it. I'll tell you something. I was on Fan Park Live the other day, yeah? Mm. Um, and I was talking to Terry and I said um, to him... Um, you have to give Paul Pogba a chance because he's a really um, like well-paid player mm. um, and he's worth a lot of money mm. and he's still quite young. And you have to look at it and you have to think that if a player's not performing for one week, fine. Two weeks, fine. Three weeks, fine. Four weeks, you'll start to ask questions. Five weeks, start to ask questions. And depending on how much the player costs, mm. then you start to ask more and more questions mm. and start to antagonise the player, if you like, more until they hear from the fans that they're not performing well and until they hear that they need to start performing better. Good. Fair enough, man. Good, one. Good, good, good response, this guy. Exciting news. There's a brand new show called The Real Football Fan Show coming to Channel 4 on Thursday the 19th of April, then every Thursday after that till the end of the season. It's going to be broadcast at midnight and you've got to check it out. It's going to feature fans from all around the Premier League. So make sure you check it out. Hosted by myself, Robbie. We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.